G'day, Sambo here. Sunday, 23rd of October, 2016. It's about 9.15am. You can see a hole there. That's where my inverter used to be. It's raining outside, currently bringing in 145 watts. I've only got two panels hooked up. Um, just so I can maintain these batteries for the next week or so. So, reason I've got no inverter, um, mum and dad's inverter died yesterday, because I'm only here part time, and I'm really only running the fridge while I'm not here, so I pulled my inverter out and took it up to their place. Then I had to go to the backup system. We'll go have a quick look at that. So this is my backup system. I've got a 100 watt panel feeding this. It's just a cheap charge controller. 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter and two 6 volt 127 amp hour batteries in series for a nominal 12 volts. Um, so last night I was just using this for the computer, the fridge and the water pump and I got down to about 12 volts overnight. Uh, there's enough juice there to run the computer and the lights and the water pump. But when I wanted hot water, there just wasn't enough juice to ignite the propane heater. So then I came out and I just switched the inverter over to this battery, which is fine. And now these two batteries, they can be charged up again during the week off of that 100 watt panel. This is why I like to have a backup system. If something goes wrong with one system, it doesn't take much stuffing around to switch over to another system. In my case, nothing went wrong with my system, but I've scavenged parts from it so that my mum and dad, who are living at their place full time, they've got a big fridge, TV, washing machine, all of that sort of stuff, they need power more than I do. And I can just run off this little system here. I've got nothing in the fridge that really needs to be cold so I can turn the fridge off during the week. And in the meantime, the inverter will get fixed up and hopefully in the next week or so we should be good to go again. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in another video.